In this video, we are going to talk about the masses, the gram and the kilogram. When we go to the doctor, he takes our height and our weight and tells us that our weight, for example, is 35 kilograms. Then we say that the doctor took our mass. So what is mass? Mass is how much an object weighs. Mass is expressed in grams or kilograms. I'm sure you have heard these two words before, gram and kilogram. So how much is one kilogram? First of all, you must know that we use the kilogram to weigh heavy objects and kilogram is written as kg. So when we say one kilogram, it's like the mass of a pineapple. A pineapple weighs one kilogram. One package of flour also weighs one kilogram. A bottle full of water weighs one kilogram. The weight of a water bottle full of water equal to one kilogram. And of course, there are still other examples. Now, how much is one gram? The gram is still a unit of measurement, but we use the gram to weigh light items and gram is written as G. So when we say one gram, it's like the mass of a paper clip. A paper clip weighs one gram. A small plastic bag is also one gram. The eraser on the top of the pencil also weighs one gram. Remark, one kilogram equals to 1000 grams. That is to say, one kilogram of sugar weighs 1000 grams. Here are some examples. A lion weighs 190 kilograms. A cat weighs 5 kilograms. A 2-year-old child weighs 12 kilograms. A notebook of 100 pages weighs 80 grams. A mobile phone weighs 130 grams. A pencil weighs 7 grams. But how do we measure mass? To measure the mass of an object, we need a measuring tool called a table balance. We can measure the mass either with an electronic or digital scale, which directly writes the mass either with a scale or with a table balance, and in our video we are interested in the table balance scale. The table balance scale is a balance used to measure or compare the masses. It is a two-pan balance with a needle in the middle, and it has benchmark masses to determine the weight of another object. On each benchmark, there is a mass number written on it. We have a mass of 1 kilogram, a mass of 500 grams, 100 grams, 50 grams, and so on. How can we compare two masses? To compare the masses of two objects, they can be placed on the pans of the balance. The scale still leans towards the heavier side and the needle still indicates the heaviest object. Here the watermelon is heavier than the orange or we can say that the orange is lighter than the watermelon. The heaviest object is always on the lowest pan and the lightest object is on the highest pan. The lion is heavier than the cat, the dog is lighter than the elephant. To compare the mass of these two boxes, we will place them on the pans of the balance. We will notice that the two pans remain on the same level and the needle remains exactly in the middle. Then we can say that these two boxes have the same masses and the scales are balanced. How do we know the mass of an object? To measure the mass of an object, place the object on one of the pans and try to balance the two pans by placing as many benchmark masses as necessary on the other pan. The mass of the object is equal to the sum of the benchmark masses used. What is the mass of this bag? To know the mass of this bag, we add up all the benchmark masses used. 500 grams plus 100 grams plus 50 grams plus 20 grams equal to 670 grams. Which one is the heaviest object? Box A weighs 3 kilograms and 624 grams. Box B weighs 3961 grams. First of all, to compare two masses, they must be converted into the same unit. Here, we want to convert them to gram. We have already mentioned that 1 kilogram equals 1000 grams. Box A weighs 3 kilogram plus 624 gram. 3 kilograms equals 3000 grams. So box A weighs 3,000 grams plus 624 grams, which is equal to 3,624 grams. Now we can compare the mass of these two boxes. 
3961 is bigger than 3624, so box B is heavier than box A.